more acquisitions and more buyouts. I'm Mike and here are the latest podcasting news. So I haven't done one of these in a few weeks. You know, summertime is usually a quiet period for podcasting. I guess people are on holiday. Not much is happening. Well, that is not true for this summer. There was actually quite a bit of uh, happening in the last few weeks. And today I want to talk about uh, things that interest me and uh, things that, in my opinion, sort of Uh, change the landscape of podcasting and we're gonna continue the uh, acquisition uh, route that we've taken in the previous news videos we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, the latest deals really so yeah there was more happening but we're gonna focus on um, on the deals let's jump to the first one so uh, this is an article from Sunday World from May 31st, so a month ago, and uh, we got a deal with Spotify. We're gonna start with with Spotify. The two Johnnies bring their hit podcast to Spotify. So they launched the podcast in 2018, and it quickly became Ireland's fastest growing podcast with one million listeners every month. And following sort of Joe Rogan's footsteps, you know, the exclusivity deal, the popular musical comedy duo have announced they will be going to Spotify and making their podcast exclusive from Monday 14th of June. So that happened a couple of weeks ago already. And uh, the article also states that, you know, they had nine number one singles together and they also toured to sold out venues around Ireland, UK, USA and Australia. So there we go. Um, And then the article goes into how happy they are and so on. So that was the first one that caught my eye, but not the only one. Of course, the big one of this month is a Call Her Daddy podcast from Alex Cooper. Alex Cooper and her uh, sex-positive podcast Call Her Daddy, which she started again in, let me find it, um, in 2018 on the Barstool Sports Network, is coming to Spotify exclusively starting next month and it's a multi-year deal. From what Variety is reporting, the show as well as future episodes as well as any other projects of hers will be spotify exclusive and that's starting uh, july 21st and uh, the two sources familiar uh, with the pact told variety that the deal is 60 million dollars in total and that's apparently for a three-year um, agreement and that makes spotify's biggest exclusive deal for a woman-led podcast today. Uh, so there were earlier reports uh, that valued the deal for around 20 million. Now we got 60 million, so 20 million per year. Uh, huge, huge deal. And uh, yeah, so Call Her Daddy has consistently ranked in top 15 podcasts across all platforms. And it was number five most listened to podcasts on Spotify in 2020. Uh, so there you go huge huge deal for call her daddy she only started like two and a half years ago so well done i mean that is that is amazing uh, for her and you know good luck with spotify and and all that's not the end of the acquisitions from spotify our big buying up company so there's another deal this is a more um, regional and Spotify tabs local content and they recently announced that 15 uh, exclusive podcast content from Filipino creators are coming under um, Spotify wing and uh, that's because they said let me find it that's from ABS CBN news they said that according to Spotify consumption of podcasts in Philippines has more than doubled from March 2020 to March 2021 and you also must remember that in English speaking countries 
you know, UK, Australia, US, iPhone rules, you know, so Apple Podcasts will be where ma- majority of people are listening to podcasts. However, the rest of the world more than likely are using Android phones. I don't know what the case is in Philippines, but I would suspect that is the case. And on Android, Spotify is usually the number one podcast for music and podcast listening. And we got an article there about, you know, all these creators, some of them are stand-up comedians, um, you know, being really happy that this happened. So very, very interesting deal, different market, um, more of a regional deal. Now, my question is, of course, that, um, you know, Spotify continues to buy up creators to to acquire uh, these shows. But remember that in 2019, Spotify acquired Parcast um, for a lot of money. I can't remember how much it was, like 100 million or something. And they acquired Gimlet and Anchor as well. And that was $340 million reported two years ago. So you'd think, you know, they did acquire two big production studios because they were essentially podcast production studios. Why are they, um, on top of that, acquiring <laughs> our shows and creators? And uh, the reason is, and that's my speculation, you know, it's very difficult to create a popular show from scratch. It's good to have a studio, it's good to have talented people. And that does not necessarily mean you will be producing hit after hit. I don't know what the deal is there, to doing it or not. But it seems that they've done this part of the strategy, having their own podcast uh, production studios, but they are also supplementing it with uh, buying and acquiring shows that has that have already developed audience and listenership. And um, there is a, an article that I read on Medium. I'll link it in a, in a below. There was actually a couple of similar articles that I read in the last week or so, and that's Spotify podcasting strategy. And of course, people were saying they want to become Google for audio and so on. The reason is uh, why they're so aggressive is one, uh, they're not, uh, they, they don't own the platform. So it's not like with Apple Podcasts, the app comes with every iPhone. With Google Podcasts, the app comes with the Android. So they don't own that. They don't have the, that kind of ecosystem. But um, on top of that, they started in music. And um, let me scroll down. I don't think it's this article actually, but never mind. There was another one that's saying that with music, how it works, it works on the revenue, sure. So the more people listen, on Spotify to music, the more they have to pay to music labels, and the royalties are pretty high. So the margins are very thin for Spotify on these sort of uh, royalties. With podcasts, you only have a fixed cost. So you only have got to pay these podcasters once. And then the it doesn't matter how many people listen to these podcasts, how many users, uh, new users they acquire. There's no ongoing costs with that, right? Like with music. Um, so that's the strategy they're trying to uh, to do. And um, I'll link up the other article if I find it. Um, that sort of goes into depth about that. But that was an interesting read. So that's why they're so aggressive in podcasting. Uh, last news from Spotify, I promise, I promise very last news. So Spotify snaps up discovery platform called Pods. And uh, yeah, so you know, if you're using Spotify, I use Spotify uh, to listen to podcasts when I'm at the gym. And you know that their recommendation is not that good. You know, with music is different because I can go into playlists, I can check, you know, rock, and there is a vast amount of different play playlists and what I can listen. With podcasts, it's like I've got three podcasts that I listen, like interview kind of shows, but the app does not recommend me similar 
podcasts. So it'd be good if they could, you know, kind of fix it. You know, oh, you listen to that one, try this one as well. Which no doubt, but uh, no doubt, I feel like it's um, it's incredibly difficult. But um, you know, I uh, I reckon it's their strategy moving forward. That's problem within podcasting in general. So. You know, you got the marketing campaigns, but podcasts, they usually grow from recommendations, from friends, from forums, from Reddit, uh, things like that. Discovery is still a problem. There's a lot of people, smart people working on that problem. And we, what else we got? Oh, so they launched a sort of live audio app called Green Room, and that's their answer to Clubhouse. Okay, moving on, moving on. We haven't got that much time. So Spotify is not the only company buying things up. We got Sony Music, they bought UK podcast producer Something Else. And um, Something Else uh, is one of the biggest, it was one of the biggest independent podcast producers in the UK. And they produce stuff like David Tennant's interview series, The Sun King, um, David Dim Deep Dive in the Life of Robert Murdoch. So, therefore, so is this Sony is also looking at uh, podcasts and uh, sort of looking at how can uh, they diversify their portfolio of artists and content and creators. Well, that's really interesting, actually. Not many independent podcast production studios are left of that size. Um, acquisitions continue. And the couple of articles I want to share with you was that, you know, Amazon, we know they bought Wondery, um, it's just the deal sort of disclosed there, well, the terms are not disclosed, but uh, Wondery was valued at 300 million, so they must have paid <laughs> a little bit for them. Wondery shows were hosted on Art19, and that's a uh, hosting and sort of ad uh, technology uh, platform. And now Amazon also bought Art19. So they've got a production studio with hit shows. And some of them are in development into um, TV series. And they also bought the other side, which is hosting at tech. Very interesting to see because, you know, we hear about these deals. We hear about these acquisitions. There isn't anything yet coming out of Amazon or other companies that would be sort of interesting or groundbreaking yet. So we'll see in coming years, in coming months, if there is you know, new shows they uh, announce or things like that. For now, they're spending money. And the very, very last uh, article I want to share is from Facebook. And so, yeah, live audio rooms. So similar to Spotify, they uh, created um, a competition to Clubhouse, essentially. So it's like you can create your room and speak or whatever. What's interesting to me is actually, are these not patent protected, like copyrighted? Because it seems there is tech coming out and then everybody else is, you know, copying it straight away. So I don't know how that works, but if well, you would expect that there is some kind of patent and they cannot do that, maybe that's not the case with tech. I don't know. But what I want to tell you, yeah, there is. So in the past, um, Spotify had a deal with Facebook, so you could listen um, to podcasts or music through sort of Spotify player within Facebook. But you know they smelled okay, something's happening with this podcast, and of course they came up with their own solution. So they want to keep you on Facebook in their ecosystem, and now you can listen to podcasts while browsing Facebook, and there will be a mini player or full screen player experience. Uh, how will it will work is I think there are you know pages so there'll be for example our page for case file and you can listen to show on Facebook with their player. For now uh, it was invite only and uh, it started with a initial slate of podcasts and there'll be more in coming weeks. And they wanna also roll out additional features. So everyone's kinda dabbling 
in the space uh, trying to get the people ultimately if you agree with the strategies if you don't agree for me it doesn't matter what matters is podcasting is quite small and uh, podcasts at the moment are fighting for the same amount of people for the same number of people what we want uh, to do what we want these companies to do is bring more people into podcasting uh, more people interested in in podcasts so the space continues to grow and develop and there is more opportunity for new podcasts for independent podcasts for you know diverse range of creators and uh, for now it's looking good of course we'll have to monitor how the acquisitions and buyouts play out will we end up with only a few big fish and not much space for little fish out there we'll see it's very difficult to predict but yeah that's it for today um, if there's something else um, you know let me know in the comments below i'll keep monitoring the news and if i will if i can gather you know, a sort of few interesting articles i'll make another video but uh, yeah for now thanks for watching and i'll see you later